This is a video response to Father Oblivion's video uh, discussing minimum wage. For those that are watching this that are proponents of the minimum wage, or minimum wage increases even, I think that you're a little screwed up in the head. But, anyways, what I wanted to specifically talk about is, and I've heard this from many proponents of the minimum wage. Look at how much minimum wage is. That's not enough to raise a family on. As if every job in the world should demand or require enough wages to raise an entire family on. That's just a ridiculous standard. To put an arbitrary price on the cost of labor the minimum cost of labor. It's a good idea if you're looking to get votes from stupid people. But it's a bad idea if you want to let the market work, if you want to let an employer and employee agree on a wage between themselves without the government having to come in and artificially set the price of labor. If I'm getting ready to start up a company... And I know that no matter what job, however menial, I have to pay a certain level of uh, compensation in the form of wages to, that, to whoever works for me. That could be a discouraging thing for someone trying to get off the ground. Uh, if someone was to come to me and say, I would do whatever job for... $3 an hour, if you'll throw in three meals a day. Under the current system, I wouldn't be able to do that because even though the total compensation might be more than minimum wage, because wages are set, which is just part of what compensation can be for any given uh, job, it becomes illegal for us to do that. We can't agree that. Why can't me... And, me and some other person agree to exchange wages and some other form of compensation for the labor that person gives me without the government coming in, stepping in and saying, no, you have to at least pay this much in wages. That's just not the kind of thing that I can subscribe to. Uh, for those people that uh, insist on this whole minimum wage nonsense, you ought to really... Think about it with your mind instead of your frickin' feelings. That's what gets a lot of people in frickin' trouble. Think about it. Think, why can't two people, two grown men, come to an agreement on what I'm going to trade for my labor? It's just ridiculous to argue otherwise, in my opinion.